Ryan Lewis in front of Prosper and going to be six out. Maybe Zucker. Said boy, Beating and banging here in the Sportsman class. Still banging as we head down. Rempel going to work there. Oh, five wide for a moment through one and two. Back down to four and three wide off of two. What a showing. And he got out of the car and he begged me to like have security to hold her back. He was too tired to be jumped on. Now that was a race. All right, so once again, it is Ropke and Tenaple on the front row. RPMs are going to start coming up. And the green goes down. We're racing. Four wide behind the leader, Darren Rokey. Four. Racer, Ricky Steppen. Tees and Tenable. When you start the race four wide out behind the leader, that makes it a tough front go for sure. Your new race leader, the 48, of Bobby Moore. He sends it through one and two. Bobby's had a good run. We got a spin out there, though. Oh, looks like. Just looks like a 17 of Justin Sackett. Or no, the 47 of Darren Rokey goes around. Jim T's nowhere to go, gets caught up in it as well. So it'll look pretty much identical to his old late model he used to run down on my own track in Denison years ago. Yeah, it was kind of weird that it made Spun Baron cry when he saw it, though. He's kind of an emotional old fella. All right, so we are green and back to the heat race. Once again, Bob Moore followed by Tim Steppen, Sackett, and Tease. Tease now going to hook it up on the high, wide, and handsome line. Nothing doing there. Bob Moore, he is already on his way to Doc's Bar. As he is walking away from Chad to Naples. He got Bobby Moore way off from him. He got Sackett and Jim. Excuse me, Ricky the Racer, Steppen racing for a position back there, going on the back straight away. The farmer's not far behind. He's sticking with him. He got Ten Aples in second. Justin Sackett was going to work on the 25 Ricky the Racer Steppen, but now it's lost ground. Ricky is trying to catch up to the 20 of Ten Aples. That's a battle for second and third right there. Racer and Ten Aples. Give it to Racer. Racer now in second. Right behind your leader, Bob Moore. Ricky Steppen now in second place going down the back straight. Bobby Moore has a heck of an advantage on him. But don't count him out. Ricky the Raiders Devin with a great run through the middle of the corner. And then you still have to Naples in third and sack it in fourth. Bob Moore walking away. He is going to come down and see the green flag in the air. Two to go this time by. Ricky the Racer Stephen whipping that Razor like a red government mule trying to catch up to him. The trash kind of getting a little rough over there. Bobby still getting through it very well. Not losing any ground, but Ricky the Ranger 7 tried to make it up. White flag flies. Your race leader going into one or two is Bobby Moore. Jim T's now going to work on the 17th of Justin Sackett. That is your battle for fourth place. That's all happening behind your winner. Bob Moore, who's going to take the heat race win. Ricky the Ranger 7 second. Chad's enabled third. Fourth is going to go Justin Sackett. And Jim T's rounds out of the top five. Once again, folks, don't forget, starting on Tuesday, either on the IMCA Facebook page or IMCA.com, you can start voting for the Fast Shafts All-Star Ballot. Remember, Ricky the Racer, Stefan, and Chris Mills both on there. So Matheson and Schneider's on the front row. Berrigan and Brewer, Mills and DeMay. Green flag comes down and we're racing. And it's gonna be Jason Snyder's leading down in turn one with Jim Matheson, a close second. Behind him, it's Brewer and Berrigan trying to go for third and fourth. Now it's a battle for second, third, fourth, minute six. Throw a blanket over him, Matheson all the way back. Tomei now goes into fourth as he passes both Brewer and Mills. Yeah, he tries to go for third on Berrigan, not quite able to do it. Now Chris Mills jumps his way up in that fifth place spot as he's behind the Berrigan DeMay battle. Right now it's all behind Steve. DeMay now up to third. Now he's trying to go for second, has to get the brakes coming out of two. He'll re-rack, re-stack for another run at Matheson for second. Meanwhile, Brewer now makes a three wide. Brewer, the meat and the sandwich between Berrigan and Mills. 
And it's now Shane DeMay up in the second. They're going to be coming down. Four laps to go. All of our between your leader, Snyders, and DeMay. Now Chris Mills up in the third. Ed Snyder's DeMay, Mills, Barrington, Madison, and Brewer. Mills now tried to go to the inside. Three and four of DeMay, not, wasn't able to make it go. He's going to try it again this time around. They're going to come down two to go for Jason Snyder. As they come through three and four again, this time the wide flag coming out. Jason Snyder's one more trip around the bull ring. Pick up a heat race win. Trying to go the outside of the main. Not able to make it go. As they sail through three and four one more time, Jason Snyder takes home the heat race win. Shane DeMay second, Chris Mills third, John Berrigan fourth, and the Brewman, Carl Brewer, will round out your top five. You know, Craig does that kind of stuff. Craig does it. If he's leading the race, he'll actually come around and jump. So that's going to move Don Tank up one row, Connor Brown up one row, Danny Vanderveen, and Gage Restore ball up one row as well. And this all before Christmas. You know what I'm saying? This is amazing. All right. So, MT Motorsports Compacts feature start, take two. We're green. And it's going to be Lenny Cunningham, his second week in the car. He's going to lead him down to one. But it's going to be that 35X of Connor Brown taking the early advantage. Here comes Vanderveen and Ramsey Meyer and Don Tank as well. well. They got a heck of a race coming off of four right now. You got three or four cars going everywhere. You got the 35X of Connor Brown, though, way out front right now, but just got past her second in the second place. Now the 21R of Ramsey Myers. Ramsey Myers got company as Danny Vanderveen has taken it to him. One's high, one's low. Now they're going to cross over. But Vanderveen not letting Ramsey Myers have it easy. Ramsey Myers is now looking inside of the 35X. Connor Brown coming off a two going on the back straightaway. He may have half a car, but it's a fast half as he's looking in now three and four for the lead coming off a of four. Right now, new leader, Ramsey Myers. He gets by Connor Brown. That's going to open the door for Vanderveen. Vanderveen cannot capitalize. He'll settle for third right now. Right now, Brian Long sitting in fourth. Austin Honeycutt rounding out that top five as everything shakes out. Oh, Brian Long with a little bit of a bobble. That's going to allow Honeycutt to make up a little bit of ground. Out front still is going to be the 21R. Then in second is going to be Connor Brown. Third is going to be the Vanderveen himself. 69 having a little trouble going through three, uh, one and two. And on the back straight, now gets sent in through three and four, gets his line back. Austin looking uh, kind of squirrely there himself, but he's taking it down the front straight away. Ramsey Meyer walking away from the field once again as he's going to come down and should see four laps to go on the JJ fitting scoreboard. Cameron, Connor Brown holding off Vanderveen as of right now, but Vanderveen looks like he's trying to mount another charge for second place. Ramsey Myers, he's almost back into Nebraska. He's that far out front. As he's uh, going through three and four, coming off of four, they're going to be going, sending it through three. Going down the front straight away, all by himself. Uh, Connor Brown and Vanderwee put on a show together for second, and then Brown and fourth. Danny Vanderveen has now caught Connor Brown. He tries to get underneath of him. Can't quite pull it off. He's going to try it again in three and four. Two laps to go for Ramsey Meyer. Well, last green flag we're going to see next time by. He's going to get the white flag. As we go, are we going to put Vanderveen back in the bridesmaid status here in a second? He's working his butt off for second. I don't think he got anything to run down the leader. One more lap to go for Ramsey Myers. He sails it through one and two. He's going to head down the back stretch with a large advantage. Now, problems for Connor Brown. For Connor Brown, he slows. Vander Ramsey Meyer wins. Vanderveen's going to be second. Connor Brown's going to be third. Brian Long fourth. And Austin Honeycutt rounds out the top five. 
Very weird coming out too. Connor Brown looked like he had a problem. Vanderveen drove by him like he was standing still and managed to take second. He may have half a car, but it's fast half. And uh, for everyone to know, this is this kid's 200th feature compact win. And we got a banner for him, everything. His mom and everyone's down here. Look at this. Ramsey Myers. I've seen a lot of amazing things, but when mom makes you a banner, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Your brother made it? The one that just said you have half a race car? Oh, oh so, all right. So uh, I just, your brother just won. I interviewed him. I asked him if it's really tough because, you know, obviously you're, you win a lot of races in the family. When you come home and you win and he doesn't, he said no because you have half a car. Well, I won't argue with him. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, congratulations on your 200 win. Took a long time to get through there. And uh, once you did, you made it look fast. You separated and great. So I'm sure you got a lot of, uh, a lot of people you want to thank for your 200th win. Yeah, I got a, I got a ton. Uh, my dad and my brother for all their help. My mom, my grandparents. Uh, all my sponsors, Mac Tools, Tom Service, Jet Racing for building a fabulous car. Uh, I know I'm forgetting so many people right now, but. Congratulations, you know what? That's amazing, 200 wins. Big round of applause for his 200th career hobby up compact win.